to the Chairman of our Board, Mr. Marcel Golding, our CEO, Mr. Noel Daniels, all our Board members present today, our faculty, staff of Cornerstone Institute, all our guests, but most importantly to you, the graduates today. I wish to greet you with the words of one of our very own graduates, Mr. Declan Ross Chisbeachold. I deem it an honor and privilege to congratulate you today, class of 2016. And thinking about graduation, I was reminded of a legend I was once told of the koi fish's claim to fame. An ancient tale tells of a huge school of koi fish swimming upstream the Yellow River in China, gaining strength, and fi gaining strength by fighting against the current. The school glimmered as they swam together through the river. When they reached the waterfall at the end of the river, many of the koi turned around, letting the flow of the water carry them away. The remaining koi refused to give up. Leaping from the depths of the river, they attempted to reach the top of the waterfall, but to no avail. The efforts caught the attention of the local demons who mocked them and heightened the waterfall out of malice. And after many years while jumping, one koi finally reached the top of the waterfall. The gods recognized him for its efforts and its perseverance and endurance and turned it into a golden dragon, the image of power and strength. Now you see, some koi get to be 106 centimeters long, while the majority average about 50 centimeters. And that all depends on the environmental conditions. When you place koi in a bowl, it can grow up to 5.08 centimeters. If in a tank, 20.32 centimeters. Should you place it in a pond, it can grow up to 45.72 centimeters. But place it in a lake or a dam, it grow up to 106 centimeters. So graduates, as the student body, we wish for you to expand and broaden your horizons and do not allow to be restricted by other people. And up until today, koi fish still symbolize perseverance and endurance, two characteristics that we see in you as the graduates. Despite the challenges that you've encountered, your upstreams, pushing, pulling, and tugging, you have persevered and endured this journey. And I'm sure if you should think back to your very first day of class, there were so many people alongside you. Slowly but surely, the faces disappeared. Some faces changed along the way. And like the koi who turned around when they reached the waterfall, I'm sure you too, once upon a time, wanted to give up. But you did not. You just kept swimming. And you've reached the top of the waterfall. So we wish to congratulate you for completing this journey. So you've heard me talking about perseverance and endurance. I've highlighted those two points. When I have researched the definitions of these two words, I've came across that perseverance is experiencing or surviving pain or hardship. It is a form of tolerance, whereas endurance can be considered a quality that makes an individual accept the situation and not fight against it. So too, as I've said, the pain and hardship that you have experienced, you have not fought against any of those. You've accepted it and you've worked with the situation despite all the challenges. You persevered and endured. And for that class of 2016, I wish to salute you. I thank you.